Good morning. My name is Doug Campbell. and Today, I get to read for you a great book called Imagine. It's written by Juan Felipe Herrera, and it's illustrated by Lauren Castillo. Imagine, that's kind of a great word. Uh, I'm sure you all imagine at times. It, do you know what imagination is? Imagination is is a, a noun, and it's, it deals with all things that you think that aren't really aren't really present, but that you can imagine. And that's where the word imagine comes from. When you think of things that really aren't there, but what could be. This is a nice book. It was written and published in 2018 when Juan Felipe Herrera was a poet laureate of the United States of America. He actually read this book on the steps of the Library of Congress. And the Library of Congress is a great building in Washington, D.C., and it's the nation's library, just like we have Allen County Public Library here today, and we all have libraries in our schools, great resources. But the Library of Congress is the nation's library. There's only one of those, and he was the poet laureate of that institution. Let's we'll start reading. Imagine. If I picked chamomile flowers as a child in the windy fields and whispered to their fuzzy faces, imagine. If I let tadpoles swim across my hands in the wavy creek, imagine. Have you ever played with tadpoles? Do you know what they are? Tadpoles are, they look like little fish, but really what they are is baby frogs before they turn into frogs. You can find them at the creek, all sorts of fun places. Imagine letting them slide through your hands. If I jumped up high into my pappy's army truck and left our village of farm workers and waved adios, to my amiguitos, imagine. If I let the stars at night paint my blanket with milky light with shapes of hungry birds while I slept outside, imagine what you could do. If I help Mama feed the hopping chickens and catch the crazy turkey in the front yard of our new village, imagine. He said it was a new village and he left on the previous page, he left somewhere in his pappy's truck. Do you think he stayed in one spot all the time or do you think he moved around in his new village? You can only imagine. If I walk through the evening forest at the top of a mountain with a silvery bucket to fetch water from the next town, imagine. You think as a child he had to go to the next town to fetch water? You can only imagine. If I move to the windy city of tall bending buildings and skipped to a new concrete school I had never seen. Imagine. It looks like he moved from the country to the city here. If I opened my classroom's wooden door not knowing how to read or speak in English. Imagine. Imagine going to a new school and not being able to speak English when everyone else did. It'd be pretty difficult. You can only imagine. If I practice spelling words by English and by saying them in Spanish like pen, CEO for pencil, imagine. If I collected gooey and sticky ink pens because I loved how the ink flowed like tiny rivers across the paper, imagine. 
if I grabbed a handful of words I had never heard and sprinkled them over a paragraph so I could write a magnificent story. Imagine. It looks like somewhere along his schoolwork, he learned and loved to write because he collected the gooey pens and he made words with them that he turned into paragraphs and into a magnificent story. If I stood up in school far away from where I lived and sang for the first time in front of a class. Imagine. Have you ever sang in front of a class? Have you ever been up in front of your class? It would make me very nervous. If I started to write a poem on a skinny paper pad after school, as I walked on the wide sidewalk, and then finished it when I got home. Imagine. If I picked up my honey colored guitar and called out my poem every day until it turned into a song. Imagine. If I gathered many words and many more songs with both of my hands and let them fly over my mesa and turn them into a book of poems, imagine. So not only did he like to write stories, but it sounds like he liked to write songs as well. If I stood up wearing a robe in front of my familia and many more on the high steps of the Library of Congress in Washington, DC and read out loud, and signed my poetry book like this, Poet Laureate of the United States of America. Imagine what you could do. That's the end of the story. He wrote this for Anthony, Cyrus, Dominic, Dylan, Felix, Gianna, Kamiko, Kaito, Lucas, Luna, Paloma, Solana, and Tanner, and in memory of his sister, Sarah Chavez. It's a great story that tells us that we can do anything we want to do if we can only imagine it. Just like Juan Felipe Herrera imagined as a little migrant farm worker on the farms of California who was educated and became the Poet Laureate of the United States of America. The sky is the limit if you can only imagine. Hope you enjoyed the story as much as I enjoyed reading it to you. Have a great day and go to the library. Thank you.